this is the Terrence O'Brien Water Reclamation Plant. We treat on average about 250 million gallons a day. This is one of the largest sewage treatment plants in the country. Metro Water Reclamation District of Chicago is, is one of the more innovative utilities in North America. They're interested in new technologies. They've set an aspirational goal to be energy neutral. The district set this ambitious goal to be energy neutral by the year 2023. Energy neutrality is producing as much energy as you consume. To achieve neutrality, you need to increase your energy production as well as reduce your energy consumption. You don't actually demand any energy from the grid to operate your wastewater treatment plant. It's definitely a very lofty goal to be energy neutral in such a short time frame, considering the amount of energy that this plant uses. Wastewater treatment takes a lot of energy to do what we do. My electric bill is about $5 million a year. So anything we can do to cut back on that bill would not only help us, but also help the citizens who pay the taxes. Two years ago at WEFTEC in Chicago, I read a technical paper uh, about the Z-Lung process, and I was very intrigued by it because of the potential that it had for reducing energy consumption in our treatment plants significantly. Z-Lung is a gas transfer membrane. We're using a membrane to transfer oxygen into a biofilm. So we send air from the top of the membrane to the bottom. The oxygen in that air is diffused into a biofilm that grows on the outside of the membrane. So that biofilm is what actually treats the water. The value of Z-Lung is that it transfers that oxygen four times more efficiently than conventional aeration. So it allows a plant to reduce its energy consumption significantly. The district is facing a new permit to our NPDES permit. We're we'll getting phosphorus limits. The most sustainable approach to phosphorus treatment is using a biological phosphorus removal. Now this takes away from the current capacity of our aeration tank. Z-Lung technology can increase that capacity of the tank without actually having to add any additional infrastructure. We were looking to change the face of our industry from a wastewater treatment industry to a resource recovery industry. And it's technologies like this that are going to be leading the way. We are very excited to partner with them. The promise is it would cut back on our aeration energy by about 40%. That's a lot of money to me. I think this technology is leading us into a new era. Maybe a decade from now, people are going to look back and not even recognize water resource recovery facilities because how technology like this changes the game.